yes, little Chris, you are right. Two of them were not. You know, it's not that hard to have your subscriptions public. Just make sure that little button's not turned on. And especially if you've got content on your channel, you should know the settings. But hey everyone, we have a few new members to our Eclectic Full family, actually three. So welcome. We're now at 5,669. Thank you all, all for being part of our Eclectic Full family. Uh, and hopefully that will be a notification this next year. Oh, we have another new member that joined our Eclectic Full family. Welcome. We're now at 5,670. And with the stuff that little Chris was just talking about a little while ago, if I get it all set up for this next year, uh, we'll have notifications pop up on the screen. I am working with a couple of other scoreboards as well to see if I can figure out how to lay them out with our uh, sponsor logos. We are also in talks with uh, one sponsor for sure and potentially two more. Um, But the next one I can say is for sure. Once it, I can put it out officially, I will. And then the other ones, I've got to work out some details with those to find out our exact how it's going to work. All right, this is Daniel at the table. See, that's what I'm looking at. I've laid out an entire strip of for sponsors. That way it's only taking up one slot on plug-in. And then I'm working on the slideshows for the other stuff. But with the new sponsors or potential sponsors, I'm not sure how I'm going to lay it out. I found some scoreboards that I like in vMix. One of them I really like doesn't really take good long names. So I'm debating on using it just for, you know, smaller tournaments that we use really only, you know, the first name, more casual. But thank you, little Chris. Yeah, we will get this. We'll make it look professional. Oh, and that thing you sent me the other day, I can do that. I just need two tables that are lined up like that. All right, and this is, I'm going to call him Little Laz. He's not little anymore, but he is one of our local juniors, obviously. He's got a few titles under his belt. All right, he goes on the board first. And he's just under a 700 Fargo, I believe. Or no, he's right around 700. Hey, Big Bill. Hey, are you here, here Big Bill? Playing? Hey, Jeff, how are you doing? Hey everyone, we have another new member that's joined our Eclectic Full Family. Welcome. We're now at 5,671. Thank you all for being part of our Eclectic Full Family. Oh, it can hold it as well? Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I will definitely have to get into it further. They'd be two of you, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Josh, how you doing? Sweet. Yeah, he's not little anymore, I'll tell you that. <laughs> But I like how he's matured. As a player, he's he's matured. Hi. I think he keeps growing the way he is. He's he's got a very promising future. Oh, nice! Did he get it? Did he get it? Looks like it. Yeah, Monty, this is a good, definitely a good match. All right, Daniel's looking for the two-rail bank here. Or two-rail kick, sorry. Oh, and he just misses it. Hey, everyone, if y'all could hit that thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. It does help us out with the YouTube algorithm, and the algorithm controls what gets shared to the main pages of YouTube. Now, let me go over the rules for this match. I know we've got a few new members, uh, viewers that have come in. It is alternate break, rack your own. Because it's rack your own, the nine ball does not count in the bottom two pockets on the break. Three-point rule is in effect. Three-point rule is that three balls must be pocketed and or across the head string to be a legal break. Three-foul rule is in effect, and jump cues are allowed. Uh, for this one, the one on the spot and two is behind the nine for the racking-wise. Hey, Dennis, how are you doing? Everyone cue balls control sometimes. De that's Dennis. What's up, man? Uh, faking it. I I fake it. I, no, I know that's a lie right there. <laughs> oh, but hold a second, everybody. Hey, everyone. Uh, one of the players had some questions for me. Gonna come all the way around for the four. Nice. Hey, Monty, you have a good night or good day, wherever you are. Hell, the only problem I see here for little Laz is, you know, from seven to the eight, and depending on where he puts it now, uh, it ain't going to be an issue at all. And he may have rolled out a little bit more than he wanted.
Oh, he's going to come all the way around. Nice. All right. Little Laz goes up 2 0, race to seven against Daniel. Hey, Nancy. We are at Fast Eddie's Braun in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this is the 2022 finale for the Predator Arcadia Syntex Pull Tour. Let me, and you know, I'm going to go the days that they do have put out so far. Um, okay. We'll, for next year, w the first tournament is January 21st and 22nd. We'll be here in San Antonio at Fast Eddie's Embassy. And in February, on the 25th and 26th, we'll be at Betsy's in South Austin. Yeah, that was a good out, Jeff. What's up, man? All right, buddy. Uh, Michael's here from Austin. Uh, he may join us here a little bit later. Oh, Josh, yeah, definitely. If you move back to Texas, come on down. Uh, tournaments for this tour focus predominantly in San Antonio and Austin area for now. The heck is it? Oh, nice cut. He's going to get around for that two ball. I don't know if it'll go in the side pocket, if it'll get by the six. He's looking like it does. Or maybe the combo. Uh. 
Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable in these chairs. He's looking real close, I think, if it'll go by. Oh, we decided just to play the safe. Yep, y'all made the call. Oh, he put some power on that. He may go into the four off this one. Oh, he pulled it a lot. Nice, beautiful shot. Don't get it hung. There we go. Everyone, we are using the Predator Arcos 2 balls. And we're also using the Accurax to rack them. Now, next year, I don't know if you all have heard, the Predator came out with their own rack, uh, the Arrow rack. Next year, we will be racking, the well, the players will be racking with the Accurax. Hi, right, Karen. How you doing? And Dave, welcome. Now, these these are truly open tournaments. Anyone can play. There is no skill level. There's no nothing involved. You just sign up and you play. Top level pros can play this one. I don't know if the tour sponsorship with them is going to be up. There, he's not. My, he's not our sponsorship sponsor. He's the tournament, uh, the tour sponsor. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, Daniel and Christina will let me know. Uh, I believe Daniel got that one. Hey everyone, we have another new member that's joined our Eclectic Pro family. Welcome. We're now at 5,672. Uh, this is a second round match. This is winter side. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Yeah, when Daniel and Christina uh, created the tour, the Predator Arcadia Syntex Pool Tour, they wanted to make sure that anyone could play it. They wanted a truly open tournament. And that's what I like. The other tour that we stream as well, the On the Ball Ladies Tour, it is truly open as well. 
any lady can play it. Uh, the, actually, the tour champion for this last year was April Larson. For it. And April Larson's actually sitting in second place for this tour. And she is here. Oh, I, I got what you meant, Jeff. Yeah, he should be out here. Thing is, the other games, the little lads really didn't give him a chance to shoot with an open table. And Daniel is a great player in his own right. About where he wanted it. Beautiful shot. Oh. Looks like he popped up a little bit on that one. Let me watch it again. No, he didn't really pop up. He just missed it. All right, little Laz is going to pull the template off, the Accurac, before he shoots the nine. Someone is playing Mega Jenga behind me. It just fell. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that. Go ahead. What's up, Michael? Hey, everyone, we have a guest commentator popping on with us. We got Michael. I'll let you do the rest of the introductions. <laughs> hey, Lonnie. Thanks for having me on. Uh, Michael You're Heaps welcome. here. Made the trip down for another Predator Tour event. Having a great time. Oh, yeah, got to have fun. Absolutely. I'm just glad the rain's gone. Yeah, for sure. It was bad last night up yes, in Austin. It was. It, we didn't get... A l really bad. It was a lot of lightning and thunder on the south side, but there was quite a bit of rain. Yeah, I heard. I saw some uh, online posts from friends around New Braunfels. They got some hail around midnight. So anyway, yep. Glad that the weather's all nice and cleared out, and yep. we're having a great day down here at uh, Fast Eddie's. And I. After looking at the schedule that we have made out, we actually have a stop at Betsy's next year. Yay. Yep, we definitely confirmed your uh, the Predator stop for uh, February 25th at Betsy's. I was actually just talking to Christina. We're going to try and get a second date for Predator there. Cool. Uh, we'll also have another uh, one of our quarterly events, which we have one coming up next weekend. The, the Winter Wonder Balls, as yes. we're calling it. And he's going to let us know with plenty of notos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's His quarterly is this next weekend. 
Yeah, so in South Austin. We were already booked for another tournament. For another, yeah, another yeah. event. Yeah, I put this one together. It's the it's the first of the the new quarterly series that we're gonna do, and um, yeah, I put it together. You know, over the last month. So yeah, I know it was a little short notice for you, but I'll I'll get the uh, the March date yeah. for you in the next week or two. Well, hell, we just we just met what a m- month and a half ago. A month and a half ago, right? <laughs> yeah. So, hey, Julio, how you doing? Hey, thank you. That's Dana. Dana, yeah, back That's Dana, yeah. Josh, we have uh, eight foot diamonds uh, at Betsy. Yes, it. Betsy's is an excellent establishment. The w- I love the way it's laid out. Tables on both sides. Yeah, so we have uh, we have uh, 13 down one side, 11 down the other side, and then five in the middle. Yep. And, uh, yeah, no, it's it's a really nice layout. We I'm glad you like it, Lonnie. Uh, every, oh, yeah. Everybody you, that comes in uh, always appreciates the, the layout, and the tables are in great shape. And, and hey, if you go in there, you got to eat the hamburger. Hamburgers are definitely a must. <laughs> yes, uh, I burger. always recommend the spicy burger because it is uh, is really really good. And we also do a uh, on uh, Sunday nights. I do a nine ball tournament uh, on Sunday nights uh, as part of my weekend series every week. But on Sundays we do two for one burgers. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> what time do I gotta go in Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they are pretty good. They're, we ha- we have people that come by just for the burgers. AJC. Uh, yeah, the uh, if you the uh, open brackets pinned to the top of the chat, JC, it's in the blue area at the top. And they're also, if you want to look at the uh, open bracket and the ladies bracket, is in the description as well. And you can always go to Digital Pool. Yeah, Digital Pool. And look up uh, Predator, and it'll pop right up for you because it's today's event. I don't think there's any other Predator events going on in Digital Pool either. I don't think so. That's the way I looked it up earlier this morning. You just entered Predator. Predator, yeah. That help? Yes. <laughs> can actually read the names. <laughs> this is this is little Laz. Little Laz, yep. And this is Daniel. Daniel, yeah. I know little Laz. I don't think I know Daniel. Yeah, Daniel's a solid shot. Yeah, he's got a good solid game. Hey, Jonathan. Yep, it is my keep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just learned Jonathan's name today. I always called him Tech. Yep. Until Manuel told me. His oh, right, right. right. <laughs> like, hey, Roger. Hey, how Roger. you doing? Hey, everyone. Welcome. Roger with Rogers Randoms is in. He does have a YouTube channel of his own as well. So yep. Definitely worth checking out. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Wiped its feet on the way in. That's an interesting way of putting that. <laughs> All right, so if the scorekeeper has not screwed up, it is 4-1, race to seven. Hey, Jeff, uh, these are Olhausen's. Yeah, these are Olhausen's. Eight-foot Olhausen's. Tough pocket. You hit them with pace like that, like uh, little Laz did there, and they'll rattle. He hit that one pretty good. Yeah, you'll find out you come down for embassy in January. Yes. They're worse over there. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they stay in the pocket. No, no, they're good tables. Don't get me wrong. Yep. But the ball, the way the pockets are cut, they rattle, they rattle a the lot. Yeah. Because all of APA, Tri-Cups, Cities, the U.S. Amateur Prelim is there. Is that where they do all of that's those? Where, yeah, that's where everything's played. Yeah, so we play there a lot. And when I was playing APA on Wednesdays, that's where I was playing. That's where you're playing out of, right? Yeah. Well, that's good. You know, I mean, uh, I don't mind the uh, – I don't mind the pockets like that. They, you know, you play on well, diamonds it, all the time. It makes you hit true. Makes you hit you, true. You got to hit pocket speed down the center. Yes. Cheating it is is not an option. No. <laughs> it's like I see some people try to tap the rail on going in on these pockets. Yeah. And they don't it really doesn't work. Do it. I tried it a couple of times in my first match, and uh, I found out very quickly that it doesn't work. Such a 
it's broken. Oh yeah, he's been playing since, since he was, was a kid. Yeah, for, you know, like probably, I said probably since he could see over the edge of the table. Barely, yeah. I just, uh, you know, like you say little lads, it's like he ain't little no more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your tournament, do you have enough signed up already? It's going to the second day. Um, are not, you gonna, are you not enough pre-registrations yet. I'm uh, in the mid 30s right now. We're going to cap it at a 64-person field. You, have you locked in the race yet? Uh, well, the races are based on Fargo. Okay, it is Fargo. Okay. Yeah. So um, you know, 4.99 and under, you're going to race to three. 500 to 549 will race to four. You're going to do like what Shooters does in Waco. Like Shooters in Waco, yeah. Okay. Sa same, uh, yeah, same bracketing. Um, so we're doing it where if you pre-register, it's $55. Um, if you come on the day and there's open spots, it'll be $65. we are going to add $1,000 to that pot nice. uh, after 32 players, which I'm actually at that already. So, yeah, spots are, spots are definitely filling up. I had about four people sign up today. Since I've been here. <laughs> Were they from Austin or San Antonio? A um, couple of San Antonio players, uh, one New Braunfels player, and one Austin player. Nice. So I have the event linked on the uh, on the Beth B's Billiards Facebook page. And it has my Venmo on there, so you can Venmo it directly to it. me. And I'll send you your confirmation, and we'll get it going. We're going to do... Um, uh, 10 o'clock, doors open. 11 o'clock, I'm going to start the uh, players' auction. And then as soon as I'm done with the players' auction, I'll I'll fire off the tournament. Yeah. Now, I have 28 tables at my disposal. Oh, so yeah, you guys are full place. Yeah, so I can uh, I can get through a lot of the first couple of rounds pretty easily. Yeah, Jonathan, he, he did ask us, but like I said, we're, uh, we're already booked for another tournament for Saturday. Yeah, Jonathan, and I'm actually working on uh, putting together a stream for Bet Fees. I just haven't quite got it there yet. You know, holidays. It, ta it takes time. It does. It yeah. does take time. I actually need to. Uh, we we talked about this up at Skinny's the other day, but yeah. uh, I need to talk to you about some equipment choices and I it, like the camera that you're using. It, up it there. all depends on what you want to spend and how far you're going to go with it. Yeah, of course. You know, that's what it comes down to in the end. Yep. I think for right now, you know, maybe a uh, just a straight stream where I can. Uh, and again, I like your motorized camera because you know, I could set it between oh, a couple yeah. of tables and do it that way. That's uh, called spoil being spoiled. I I'm a spoiled. Yeah, people, I, I, people I, know I, me. <laughs> I'm like people that you got to move the camera manually. Oh yeah, hell with no, that! No. I'll just use my remote. Absolutely. I've been called spoiled before, and I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard to spoil myself. Long yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, there's that philosophy when I was in the oil and gas industry. It's um, working smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder. I just wish I would have learned that before the 20 year mark. Right. <laughs> My body would be feeling a lot better right now. Oh, yep. don't. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Nice. We got enough of it. Yep. Oh, Interesting okay. angle here. Should be able to roll right up for that uh, for that seven ball. Yeah, I've been getting uh, been getting text from all my players that play on my Friday, Saturday, Sunday tournaments. What do you mean you're in San Antonio? You're not going to be at the Saturday tournament? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you said you were going to have someone else run. I do, yeah. I've got uh, a couple of my – one of the employees there and one of my regulars who's ran a couple of tournaments for me, Matt and Rich, are going to do it tonight. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Yeah. I thought he had a little weird angle on that. He was trying to force – Oh, he, oh look at this. That's definitely not what he wanted. No, but at least he didn't sell out. Now he no. just has to figure out a good safety from here. Yeah, Jeff, the uh, the Olhausen's can be a tough table for sure. That's a good shot. Get it on the other, all the way on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I didn't quite get it all the way down there, but it's still. I mean, it's bankable, but it is. It's, but it, you know, you take the bank on and risk the sellout. Yep. 
I mean, do you do it? I mean, how c it depends on how confident you are shooting. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you're five one down. I think uh, you go for it. I think aggressiveness is where you got to be at this point. Because I mean, the only thing you can do is try hiding it behind the nine, and that's and a, that's, a, that's a small window shot. Yeah, that's a tough, tough shot. Lot of lot of really good players here today for the final event. Oh yeah. This is a big turnout too. Yeah, sixty three in the open and uh twenty I think in, 20 the, ladies. in, the, in yeah. the ladies bracket. Yeah. And like I said, one lady is playing the open bracket. Yeah. Millie does Millie. not play ladies anymore. She she's dedicated herself to the open brackets to play the better players. Play the better players, yeah, and she's I mean she's always she's a, for the last couple of years, she's always been a strong player, but man, her game has come on something fierce in the last six months to a year. Yep. Her and Eric come up to uh, my weekly tournaments every now and oh then. They do. Nice. Yeah, every couple of weeks they'll come up. Yeah, I talked to them for a while this morning when they came in. Mm -hmm. I had already set up, so I was kind of just chilling out. And right. Yeah, I just Talk walked, to their I walked over. Yeah, that's right. You were walked over. You know, just to see what they're going to do for this next year. Yep. The traveling and all that. They're actually going to come up and play in my uh, my winter event next weekend. Nice. I think originally they were going to go to Space City, but uh, Aust Austin allows them to uh, not worry about hotels. and. Exactly. You know, and Millie has family here. Yeah. So and they know and they know a ton of people. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if they needed to stay, um, you know, for a second day up there. One, it's not that long of a drive, and it's only an yeah. hour drive. But yeah, it's only if you live where I live. It takes forever to get anywhere. You're, s you're south? I am south. Yeah. Like this, we're on the 1604 loop. Yeah. Which is the outer loop of San Antonio. Yep. I'm south of it. On the south side. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You're a long way. Yeah. From literally, it, like Skinny Bob's is a two and a half two hour, hour drive. Oh my yeah, gosh. Two two and yeah. hour drive. Yeah. See, I live on the south. Uh, I'm south of Austin in uh, Buda. Yep. So um, for me to hear was uh, exactly an hour. Yeah. You got Cabe uh, You got Cabela's. I I live four miles <laughs> from Cabela's. Cabela's. Yes. It's very dangerous to live that close to Cabela's. <laughs> yes. I'm I I wish Cab uh, Mass Pro would not have bought Cabela's. I liked it when it was two different. Two different, yeah. Because I've got a Bass Pro here now. Because I used to drive all the way. Sorry, they're making an announcement. Um, you didn't get a text, right? No, I did not get okay. the text. Oh, you live next to Bucks, huh? Oh, we're real close then. Do you uh, do you play out of Bucks? Oh yeah, Roger. Manny. I know Manny. I just realized that was you. <laughs> What's cats? I know uh, Betsy's. I, I know clicks. I don't know cats. Cats is in San Marcos. I believe. I've actually never been there. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, it's a nice bank. Yeah, someone else was talking about it. Yeah, Cats in San Marcos, right? Okay. Definitely never been there. Yeah, I've never actually been to Cats. I've, I've obviously, I'm primarily at Betsy's because I... Well, you you run everything there. out of there. <laughs> you live there. <laughs> you don't own it, but you live there. No, if I do the uh, I APA rep there, I captain three teams during the week, and then I run all three tournaments on the weekends. You're the division rep. I'm the division rep. You're the yeah. division rep. Okay. Hey, when they when they brought regionals there, yep, I was so because it was like you know nothing against the clicks, but 
Sure. It was something different. Like, I wish something in San Antonio, everything's at embassy. Oh, he rattled that. You know, yeah. every you know they all they swap you know here and there. Right. I wish there was another place that we could hold it here. That way, it's not the same place all the time. You well, know why, what I mean? Why wouldn't they hold it here? I don't think there's enough tables here. Really? For it? Yeah. Well, that would surprise me. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe they just have a thing for embassy. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the agreements are and all that. Because I know, like with us. Um, right now, we alternate back and forth to try cups in cities between us and Slick Willies. Yeah. Um, my understanding is that Slick Willies. Um, is it Slick Willies where they held regionals and all that? They have, yeah. Okay. Well, what was the clicks? Um, before it my time here, they haven't done anything at clicks in a long time. Okay, then it was Slick Willies that I used to go up, up there. Up on before. Burnett Road. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah on Burnett. That's it. Okay, I'm getting my full halls confused. Yeah. My understanding, they're a little.